I think the qualities of James's poetry that I think will struck me and that I like and I think will last, obviously his accuracy, sheer beautiful accuracy of language, particularly scientific language, which he uses so rightly. The form, the verbal and the formal inventiveness, and they're both linked with joy, which is what is really really wonderful and a part of him. So I'll read two poems that I think I hope give these from temporary structures. The divine architect, using precise calculation sets, plates spinning on, pole stars bend, the fabric of space looks like origami, opened out in, midst of each plane, Pull the plane, down with them, forming cones, lighter objects, catch at distances, circle elliptically, the fallen stars, trace out petals of, daisies around, their golden spheres closer, the cones eye faster, they circle heavier, they are the slower, time goes, he sets, Jalaluddin Rumi, whirling around, like a madman to the noise of the city coopers just with sheer joy of it. And the last poem of the book, Open Window, which we have, fortunately. I, a part of all movement and continuous change, and in a moment's steadiness, conscious of this, turning into dust. Bees flying round thistles, long grass, a yew hedge, cornfields, dry in the sun. By the open window, I'm already there. Dust, bees, thistles, grass, yew hedge cornfields and the sun, by myself both alive and dead, without others, with momentary steadiness to enjoy this moment with already dust. But you join me now. 